Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tara's Terror. I really appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Okay? So please take the parts that does and what doesn't leave that shit on out. Okay? This could be the past, the present, or in the future as well. Here's the thing, Scorpio. Something is changing for you. Something is definitely changing for you, okay? It's like some of you could be a high priestess, okay? You could be, definitely be very intuitive. It's like your gifts are ascending. It's like you you know your destiny. For some of y'all, you already know your destiny. You're already walking in your purpose for some of y'all. And it's like you just you just have some type of sacred knowledge. Something that you didn't have to read off of Google, bitch. But, you know, something that is, you know, given to you from higher power. Okay? And it's like, you are maturing. You don't feel as uneasy as you once did. It's like you're maturing and you're speaking out and you're healing. For some of you, you are a healer or you're healing. Okay? It's like some of you could be a star as well. But it's like you you are in control of your emotions. Okay, you are definitely maturing. You are some type of a high priestess. You are somebody that is a leader of some sort. But it's like somebody tried to defeat you. Okay, somebody tried to defeat you here in some type of a way. It's like somebody could have even tried to get you locked up, set up. All because of the fact that you stand out. You definitely stand out here, Scorpio. And a lot of people look up to you. You're very contagious. I should say your personality. Something about you. You're very attractive. Okay? And a lot of people like to praise you. They praise you on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something that you do. You could be some you could have invented something, created something. You could be definitely an inventor here, okay? Of some sort. But it's like you are you have your guard up at all times. You're aware of something, any outside influences, any outside energies that is not of the light. You can feel that and sense that around you. But it's like you're moving away from something, you're moving away from drama, you're moving away from any conflicts here. Okay, that you definitely were up against. It was like something here was hidden. Or it's like you're unafraid and it, you're not afraid anymore. You don't feel like a victim anymore to whatever situations you've been through. Or whatever traps that were set in front of you. Okay? It's like, damn Scorpio, you know you got that stinger. You know, so it's like some of you was ready to sting a motherfucker. Okay? It's like... Somebody knew that dealing with you... Was going to help their life. Was going to help them out. Was going to get them on top in some so some some, some type of way. Like you're going, they're going to reach the top with you. Is what I'm getting. It's like something that you have created with the Nine of Pentacles. It has created some type of wealth for you. Some of you could be getting a message from a um, water. Look, it could be another water sign, or this is you receiving this message about some type of wealth. You're going to hear about some wealth. Okay, about some money here. I don't know what this is, uh, Scorpio. But you're about to hear about some money. Somebody didn't want you to see this. Somebody did, Somebody wanted you to... I don't know. It's like... You were dealing with somebody very immature. Very fucking immature. This person was very immature here, Scorpio. This person was even competing with you. Okay, saying, whatever you can do, I can do better. Anything you can do, I can do. Some type of immature shit like that. Okay? This could have been somebody in your family with the Ten of Pentacles. This also could have been somebody that was trying to seduce you. Trying to create something with you in order to have what you have. Y'all put it where it fits. Okay? But y'all instincts was telling you something. So some of you could have ended this situation completely. Okay, guarded yourselves, protected yourself, and move forward. 
Okay, Aries energy. Queen of Pentacles, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, Pisces energy, Aquarius energy, Cancer. Okay, Gemini. Something could have definitely told y'all to get the fuck on out of Dodge. Okay, a higher power. Somebody's jealous of the fact that you have a higher power that guides you, that watches out for you. Okay, that, that gives you the answers and what you need. Okay, so some of you, there was somebody competing with you or acting like you in the family. Or acting like, you know what I'm saying? Acting as if they were spiritual as you. Here you go here, uh, Scorpio, with the King of Cups and a higher five. So you could have somebody around you that was trying to compete. Okay, and some of you had a mother that passed. She is definitely watching you. Okay, Six of Cups. You definitely could be some type of a speaker or artist or rapper or musician singer okay some of you also yeah you definitely have an ancestor that's watching you okay we have leo energy here what is this leo energy what's it wow so there's a teacher here okay there's someone here that is definitely a teacher people look up to this person what's going on so we have here the eight of pentacles the five of cups and the devil card so somebody feels bad for trying to go against somebody that has spiritual beliefs spiritual gifts okay what the hell somebody feels bad for that because they have been defeated this every this devil energy has been defeated with the ace of swords that's the truth yeah two of pentacles yeah, somebody wanted you to juggle this new beginning. Seven of, of Pentacles. Because whatever you're invested in, they wanted this to be hard for you. They don't want you to invent or create something of your own. This could have been a lover. This could have been a family member. We got the Nine of Wands and the Ace of uh, Swords here. So it's like by blocking these people out, yeah. Who are the Empress? This could have been a mother figure too. Came out in reverse. Libra energy. Hmm. Because you rejected them, you could have uh, rejected a baby mama or what the hell is this? The hell is this? Yeah, somebody, somebody was jealous of your success. Somebody didn't want you to be this empress, whatever the fuck this is. This teacher, the, the person that brings light and truth. So they try to act like they were that they were you, or try to act as if they were something else other than what they were. In the relationship to try to keep you. Hold on, y'all. Let me get the background noise down. Yeah, so yeah, these people here, you you're about to get a message. I'm gonna tell you that now. It's gonna be some good ass news. Okay, it has to do with your ambition, it has to do with your creativeness, or whatever it is that you're creating or inventing here. Wow. You're going wow. Your life is gonna change right before your eyes here, Scorpio. It's something that you're doing, okay? Some of you could have went to a high priestess to get this information. We have the seven of swords. Ooh. Somebody jealous of your fucking anointing. Somebody jealous of your anointing. They're trying to be something that they're not. And it's breaking somebody's heart because they definitely see that this person is playing some type of facade. Mmm. Mmm. Clarify the seven of swords. Yeah, three of swords. Like, this could definitely deal with a partnership or relationship here. This could be a friend, too. With the Queen of Wands. A Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. What's this Queen of Wands? This person could be at a distance. Okay, and then also... Damn, whoever this person is, it's like they want to fight. They're a fighter because you rejected them. Yeah, and because you're getting so much love from people, your person, or what have you. And that's the truth. Yeah, because you're happy here with the sun card. Yes, you're happy in some type of foundation, a family dynamic for some of y'all. Or you're just happy and content with yourself. And you got people here that's trying to act as if that they're as spiritual as you or 
trying to act as if there's something that they're not so they can be around you because they know you're destined for a greatness, okay? So be mindful. These people want you to get to them because they're in poverty with the Five of Pentacles, okay? This could be somebody you are in a relationship with, maybe even a King of Pentacles for some of y'all. That's a lot. Ooh, Lord. Hopefully that made sense, honey, because we weak. Yeah, darkest fears. Somebody darkest fears is is definitely fucking with them, okay? Their mind is racing at this time, okay? They're so afraid of something, all right? Then we have here confront, uh, being confronted, confronted here or you seeing them from who they actually are, okay? That they actually need inner child healing, okay? Yeah, somebody's afraid of your darkest fears. The opportunity beckons that you're going to become so big that... You won't want them or need them or some shit. The fuck? Third eye chakra. But somebody already knows what's going on. They're hip to this game because they're very intuitive, like I said. Okay? They're very intuitive and they're already living in their purpose. Yeah, this is like a win or lose situation. So whoever's on the other end that's wary, they need to they need to slow the fuck down. Because you're going to win this situation or you're going to lose it. You better choose your fucking battles wisely. Whoever this person is, they better choose their battles wisely. Okay, and they, they, they better to pay attention and stop daydreaming and make a fucking decision on what it is they want to do moving forward with this individual, this high priestess, or what have you. Okay, period. Your heart chakra, okay? Somebody better open up their heart chakra and stop living in fear. What else? Alright, yeah, somebody needs to find balance. That's period point blank. Find balance. Okay, and do the dedicated work that you're supposed to do. Some of you are an inventor. You have been doing something here. Creating something. Okay? But yeah, that's all I got for you, Scorpio. Alright. I appreciate you guys so much for joining me. If you guys need anything else from me, like a personal reading, you would like to donate to my channel or even add me on Instagram. Look in the description box below. Okay. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye.